the top five highest paying business careers. That's what we're gonna be talking about today. And if you appreciate this type of content, go ahead, gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and also comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, et cetera, that you have on the video. And the best thing you can possibly do is share it with friends who need to see it. So let's go ahead and jump into it right now with number five on the list, which is going to be a financial controller. So I interviewed Bill Hanna, the financial controller on this channel last year. He is somebody who got an accounting degree, so he started off as an accountant, and he moved up through the ranks, and financial controller is one of those positions you can get to as an accountant. Now, this is a relatively rare position, so when you look on the internet, you're gonna see a wide range of salaries, but we're just gonna go ahead and stick with Glassdoor. So according to Glassdoor, financial controllers make about $149,000 a year. However, on other sites, you see up to $250,000 for the average or median levels. And with rare careers, you don't get the most accurate numbers, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's somewhere in between those two numbers. So probably $150,000 to $250,000 per year. So yeah, there are some median to high level positions that you can get into within accounting and finance that pay really well. And financial controller is one example of those. Now, number four is going to be a sales director. And again, this isn't necessarily just the sales director role. It's sort of a pathway of different careers that you can go into if you work in sales within a company. And specifically, the most lucrative jobs are going to be in technology sales. So again, according to Glassdoor, director of sales makes about $137,000 a year. But on other websites, director of sales makes much, much more than that. We see numbers like over $500,000 a year. You know, I brought Antoine on the channel, for instance, he makes over $500,000 thousand dollars a year in tech sales and then there's also even higher positions you can move up to like vice president of sales and in those positions you can make millions and millions of dollars a year sometimes over 10 million per year right but those are technically more executive positions so those are very high level uh, positions within a company where you're basically making the decisions on the direction of the company itself so yeah sales is a phenomenal skill set to learn uh, the technology industry is even better so you can combine these two things together and you see phenomenal results there are people that are getting seventy, eighty thousand dollars jobs in their first year, and they're landing their first job within one to two months. And this isn't just a one-off thing. This is happening over and over and over again. I've been researching careers for years and years, and tech sales is one of the only careers that you can get into immediately and start making really good money right off the bat. Now, is sales for everybody? No, it's not. But at the same time, tech sales isn't like some kind of uh, scammy, you know, you're approaching random people or, you know, you're like a sketchy used car salesman type of position. You're building relationships with other businesses that you could potentially make, you know, 100,000 or million dollar contracts with. So it's much more focused on solving the problems that other businesses have and making sure that your brand aligns with theirs. Now, if you want to try to get into tech sales, my friend Troy from Course Careers actually trains people and then gets them interviews that's right you don't even have to do the normal you know application process he literally gets you interviews because he has partnerships with these companies because they need people in tech sales so badly and he does have a free training which I will put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below watch that free training see if it's something that you're interested in and if you decide to use his service I also have a $50 off coupon, which I'll put down there as well. I believe it is Shane 50. Number three on the list is going to be executive. Now there are a ton of different executive positions out there, but basically as an executive, you are making decisions on the direction that the company goes. And according to Glassdoor, executives make about $120,000 a year. But again, that's definitely on the lower side. There are executives out there that make well over 10 million per year. So this one has an incredibly high ceiling in terms of how much you can make. Number two on the list is going to be a variety of different finance career paths. So we're talking private equity, hedge fund, venture capital, and investment banking. Now, typically you would want to work on the buy side of the finance industry because that's where the money and the opportunity is. But let's say you're working as a hedge fund manager, for instance, uh, Glassdoor reports they make about $135,000 a year. I happen to think that is very, very low. I think that's definitely on the low side. Uh, other websites report 250,000 or more. But there are hedge fund managers out there like the genius mathematician uh, James Simons, who made over $3.4 billion last year. Billion dollars. Yes, billion with a B. So yeah, don't think I need to say anything more there. Uh, finance, uh, you know, really only for A-type personalities, very competitive. You're not, you know, mad about working 60 hours minimum 
per week and usually like in investment banking you might be working 120 hours a week but yeah if you're that type of personality you love working all the time uh, finance can be a phenomenal choice and number one on the list will be no surprise which is a ceo or chief executive officer this is somebody who starts a company you know they might start off as an entrepreneur but eventually they become a ceo and according to glassdoor the average ceo makes two hundred and ninety one thousand dollars a year but you can make much much more than this and a lot of the time those numbers that are reported are just their cash that they're actually paid and in many cases they end up making much more money from the equity in their company so for instance last year elon musk got paid about 6.65 billion dollars but in that same time frame he went from a net worth of around 30 billion to over 130 billion so he actually made over a hundred billion dollars total in a year and there was a single day where the tesla stock price actually skyrocketed where he made 36 billion dollars so yeah without a doubt the highest paying position is going to be ceo entrepreneur founder etc and the most common career path that people who become successful entrepreneurs have in their past is sales so if you want to check out a interview i did with somebody who got into sales i think i'll put it like right here I did an interview with Abdul. He got into sales at a very young age, about 19 years old, and he made over $70,000 in his first year. So definitely check that out and I will see you there.